I went into endocrinology and metabolism because I thought it is a thinking person's specialty. Uh, there's not so much having your emergency beeper going off and running to the emergency room, dropping everything. It was a good opportunity to uh, interdigitate between the clinical side and the research side. Since I have been at Michigan, which is 2003, uh, and I'm the division chief of endocrinology, our division has grown hugely. Uh, we currently have more than 40 faculty members, and so we're one of the largest endocrine divisions in the nation. So we're not limited to just thyroid disease and diabetes, but the combination of diabetes, thyroid, and osteoporosis probably constitutes more than 95% of all the endocrine cases seen nationally. Uh, and our division sees those uh, more than any other. So I think this is a very strong place to come. We have great docs. A lot of different patient experiences have had impact on my future practice, thinking back. There are patients where um, at the end of a visit, which has been mostly focused on the disease process, the patient has spontaneously gotten up and hugged me just for listening to them. And what I realize is the most important thing is to make sure you listen to what people are really saying, where they really are coming from, because the advice that you're going to give them is tailored exactly to what they're telling you. Um, this is the thing I've learned the most, and it, it will turn out to be different for every patient.